What is up YouTube? What is up everyone? It is Andrew Peer here of Beat It AT Production Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video I will be showing you guys how to make um, 808s and kicks that are similar to the virus in the antidote. Um, I've done a virus in the antidote uh, type beat tutorial in the past. Uh, matter of fact, he even commented on, uh, I hope it's a he, uh, well, the producer of the virus and antidote produ uh, actually ended up commenting on the uh, video, which was pretty interesting. Uh, however, this isn't exactly a tutorial for the beat. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did this 808 and kick thing. And it's very similar to what he would do in his style. Obviously, I can't do it perfectly to what he does. Um, I don't know exactly what he does. I'm just doing the best that I can do based upon my knowledge. And I'm just sharing my knowledge with you guys. Um, if you guys want to see a full video breakdown on this beat, uh, sign up down below for the Udemy course, uh, how to make beats like the pros. I actually did a whole beat breakdown of this beat uh, and put it up on Udemy. It was about like 32 minutes long. Uh, I was kind of scattered mind, uh, but I did a pretty good job, I think, or I'd like to think, breaking down each part of this beat and what they did in each segment. But I'm not going to be focusing on that. What I will do, though, is play uh, the intro up to past the first verse for you guys. Actually, past the chorus right here. I'm going to minimize all this. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you guys want to listen to the full beat, uh, you can go to beatat.com uh, slash beats or beatat.com and go to the beats page. This beat will be up there on the store, so if you guys want to get a lease, that's fine, but you'll be able to play through the whole beat there. So I want to save time and kind of get through this uh, pretty quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm not going to focus so much on the structure of it. I will a little bit, but we're going to focus more on this mix. Um, so here's this kick. Uh, the kick and 808 are both from the Beta AT Drum Kit 2. Uh, AT Drum Kit 2 available at BetaAT.com. Uh, this is uh, kind of how I did it. Here's the kick. It's in uh, three. So if we take off everything. Uh, 
Uh, so what I did was I actually the kick is tuned to C sharp so I right clicked right there and that's what made it tuned properly to the right key and the kick and 808 are actually just the same exact pattern um, one thing I did was uh, side chain the uh, kick into the 808 so I have the kick selected right click side chain to this track and then with the limiter I can then side chain it by you know right here uh, right click and then kick basic kick so that means it's side chaining and however much threshold I pull down is going to be how much uh, volume the 808 gets taken out uh, I did the side chain so there's room for the kick to come out and that you can actually hear that crunch and that power uh, the big thing I noticed with the virus and antidote is auric bones all like that style is like those really powerful uh, crazy kicks uh, I know XX Tension I probably butchered how he's his name or whatever the dude that pretty much like got caught beating his girlfriend or something like that I don't know everyone you all been requesting like a tutorial for him um, I've been kind of like lacking or not anyways um yeah they have this really powerful crunch uh, kick and such. Now, if we pull up this uh, EQ, I did, a, I did a tremendous boost to that uh, kick here. Now, we s listen without it, with it. Uh, I need to turn off this distortion. And then uh, Kramer tape, I got that kick in your face. I discussed about that in the uh, last tutorial about how to make a uh, powerful kicks. If you guys want to learn about that, go to visit that. But it was just a Kramer tape. Turn that on. Uh, now we get this distortion. And we're going to turn it on right here. Now it adds, that, adds more texture and crunch. We're kind of destroying the quality of the kick. But this is kind of like the purpose. I want to get that distortion over the top, raw. You know, I, I don't know how many more adjectives I could come up to try to describe this sound, but yeah. <laughs> now we're going to pull up the Maximus. Uh, Maximus, I took out part of the high. You uh, A way to take out in Maximus is when you, uh, here, we're going to turn that on, uh, right click and you pull it in. So you could probably know this from when I had it on. It cuts out that fuzzing a little bit. I was trying to get rid of that, and that's coming from the distortion. Um, so here's this mid. I did a little boost in the mid because uh, the mid frequency, as we can see right here, has some good texture areas. And then the low, I did a little boost because it's a kick. But uh, since we have it side chained through the 808, I don't really have to worry too much about it interfering with the 808. And then I did a little bit boosting with that kick. So you can see it's a lot of the like distortion, compression, and EQ. And we pull up a L1 limiter. And this is not really even doing that much. It's really just uh, limiting the remaining it, which is compressing. Limiters and compressors are like the same thing, just a different layout. Um, that's really it. I don't, yeah. That's the easy way of describing it. Uh, now we pull up this 808. I'm going to turn off everything. This is the uh, 808 Gerboom from the Beat AT Drum Kit 2. As I said, both of these uh, kick and 808 are from that. Uh, I had the parametric EQ, just a typical uh, low end. And then uh, I then had a compressor uh, compressing the audio, making it a little bit louder and uh, more crunch, trying to get rid of that dynamic range. Um, the whole purpose of this is to be really powerful crunch over the top. There's not a lot of dynamic range <clears throat> when there's the 808s and bass. From what I've noticed, it's just like boom, like right in your face. So yeah. So you get that compressor. Now here's this uh, fast distortion. We got some slides in there. I have um, the envelope on and the full the tack all the way down. 
so that means right when I click and let go it goes on uh, normally you guys see me doing the cut self oh well it doesn't matter but yeah normally you guys see me doing the cut self but uh, I didn't do the cut self in this one normalized it so yeah that was it for that uh, Maximus I kind of like do the same dealio it's kind of like a little staircase uh, since the 808 actually has I want most of the low end I want to pull that up like over here um, I want most of the low of the 808 I don't want this and I definitely don't want the high but I'm not going to completely get rid of it and that's because the 808 uh the low end frequency it's a base so obviously you want to keep that and you can get rid of everything else not completely get rid of it but you know we're cutting away so we have more room for the instruments and such and then we got the limiter which is just the side chain and that's really it uh side chain it to that and then obviously when we get the mac there's a lot of stuff in the master channel uh parametric eq limiter limiter uh an imager maximus uh effect tricks that does some effects and then l3 multi maximizer you can see it's just like a whole just a shit ton of compressing and over at the top stuff so i honestly this is the closest representation i have found on getting that style um and i could even be uh doing it wrong i yeah i'm just i want to do the compression though so i know it's not going to peak or cause any damage and um and so we still maintain some audio quality if this were to peak and go over uh zero db like go way crazy so i'll show you guys it doesn't go past that that's cool and that's cool i don't want it to go i don't want it to go past zero very rarely or no never because that, that's where you start getting into distortion where distortion that isn't good i guess i don't know but yeah uh hopefully this kind of helped you guys and uh, taught you kind of like a way on to achieve that style that uh the virus and antidote bones x extension and uh the other guys uh, there's a whole bunch of other people that have these type of beats kind of like that metal rap underground that's like the best way i could describe it so yeah hopefully you guys uh found this beneficial if you did please give it a like share comment uh definitely if you want to learn more on this style you can check out some of the tutorials we have or go sign up for the udemy uh course down below if you sign up from down below you'll get a uh, percent off because it's a coupon link so yeah i'm just saying it's a good good idea and i also have the 808s and kicks that are in this be on the udemy drum kit which is given to you when you join the course no purchase needed so yeah that's that andrew appear here at beta at production publishing if you need beats drum kits production help and much much more go to beatat.com and i'll see you guys later subscribe like comment yeah yeah you all know